Hello everyone, welcome back to Simigate Gaming and I am back today playing No Man's Sky. It's been quite an experience. Uh, I will just start off by saying uh, a couple of things. So there's been an update to the game and I actually tried it out before it was officially launched and I was really pleased. I even e emailed Hello Games saying uh, that I was really happy with it. So in the time being, while I was testing the update, uh, I managed to, to do a couple of things which I will just show short footage as well. So I managed to get enough warp cells to acquire the hyperdrive and I've also went looking out for the other two planets that were around and I found really interesting things. But the most cool things of all is I found an extra space slot for my inventory, my exosuit and this made me so so happy. It's just <laughs> one slot, it's not too much. Um, but gosh, how is how important it is. So, uh, backing on on the game. So I, not only that, I've also changed the software that I'm using to record. I upped everything on the graphics to high, and I'm hoping for the best, really. Um, so yeah, I'll have a lot of stuff that I can trade and sell. But my hyperdrive is actually full uh, to. 40% which is actually quite good so I managed to build up two um, warp cells which is pretty good actually um, right so I'm just gonna sell a couple of things uh, see what's going on can I like your ship one of the things that I would like to do as well is uh, try and um, actually buy either a ship or a weapon but probably a weapon first hi interloper how much do you want for your ship well Wow. No. <laughs> right, I'll be right back. Holy crap, I have to stop looking at ships because they're all better than mine. Okay, hello, Corporal. Um, hi. You're now a close ally. Viking warrior. Uh, interloper Dogdo. Uh, request units. Uh, close ally or above. Uh, co-conspirator and the composer above. Indicate that the ancestors are not currently insulted. It makes friendly barking noise. Can I ask for units? Is that being greedy? Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's not too bad. Actually, I still have carbon with me. Although there's carbon laying around as well. Um, which leaves me with 353,000 units, which is not really good. Not that bad. But... I actually am curious to progress in the story of the game. If there is a story. Now, <laughs> I I'll, could go on rambling on about the game as well and gosh there's been harsh critics and people not really being civic throughout Hello Games. I'll give them one thing. They actually managed to say the game really secret. So, uh, actually no one knows what they're doing in the game. but. Let's be honest, there is a path that I'm about to follow. And bottom line is, I have no idea why am I heading to the galactic core. Can I reach that far? Ah, oh, too far to jump, okay. So, hold on. Hold on, where am I? Uh, back, space is home. Okay, so I'm here. Um, so, I am exploring this galactic core war and no one knows what it is and I want to I really want to know what this galactic core is and I want to find out what's going on why is so much secrecy about this game why, why do we not get told what's the objective why are we falling atlas so all that secrecy all that build up uh, I am a lot of people are not going to agree with me but I'm giving the game the benefit of the doubt it is a very big game that's that's visually really really nice what just happened with the ship surviving so i'm giving the game a chance i am trying my best to understand what what were they thinking why are they never told anything about the game so i'm trying to keep an open mind okay and uh i i am enjoying the game honestly i am really really enjoying the game so, I will give the game a chance. I want to give it a try. I want to try and understand what the hell is going on in this game. Why am I finally 
following Atlas and so on. So I will continue on playing this game. I will continue on doing playthroughs of this game because I want to know what's going on in the galaxy and how far can I get. And you're more than welcome to join me and watch me trying to accomplish that no matter how long it takes, which I believe it's going to take a while. So there's still a couple of things. Okay, fine. That's that's part of it. Find us here. Okay. Um, let's go. I don't know why, but I thought this is the pulse engine. Hold on. I'm trying to understand why have I not got the... Uh, um, okay. Got it. It's left shift is the boost. Fine. I kept going straight into the... Uh, Pulse jump, and it doesn't have to be pulse jump all the way. Although in this case, I will. The pulse engine is actually needed here, but the boost is a left chip. Fine, that was my mistake. I don't know why I was pushing space before. Okay, we're getting close. And uh, one quick thing that I noticed is that the closer you get to the planet, I'm pressing the boost, but it's gradually slowing down. So if I tilt upwards, it actually speeds up. Um, which I think is, is this is all related to a, a predicting impact in the game, which is pretty much saying no, you can't really crash a ship no matter how much you try, unless it's the space station, which you're more than welcome to just bump into us. Okay, where are we? Weather is icebound. Is why is it red? Ample flora and uncommon fauna. Wow. Oh, there's so much thing to analyze. Can I analyze you? Can I analyze you? I think I have to analyze a lot more to actually start getting um, units as well. Okay. Let's let's see what's going on. Oh god, oh Jesus Christ, minus 92, no wonder. This is extreme weather. Um, god, I need to get inside some something, somewhere. If, is there anything like that? Hi. Hello. Remnants of... I have to do things quickly. I just scan stuff. Oh my god, this is really harsh. Uh, Viking for coil. I'm trying to do things. Why is there a shield there? I, I don't want to rush into things. I've never seen that shield. I want to see what that shield is. Another milestone? Is there another touchstone? Oh, there's another. Touchstone? No. Knowledge stone. Uh, I want to know what that shield is. Sorry, I really... Yeah, that is ex What the hell are you? Your exit suit temperature rises. Oh, okay. So that provides protection. Do you provide protection as well? At least the fauna is helping me. The flora. Shield. Ah, I like that. That's handy. Right, let's see what's going on with Atlas. I, I heard you and I found you. Here are awards, okay. So that's a Viking monolith. Follow the Atlas, obey the Atlas, accept your reward. The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here, neither do I. There is a shimmer and then the vision of the red orb returns, the Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel half election, elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The, Atl the Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning. The significance is an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. I will believe the Atlas promise. I see lines of code, string of numbers, what's in a bizarre structure. I feel sure of conviction that great power awaits me in the travel for distance planet place. The red orb disappears and I am left with a path to follow. And the warp cell. Thank you. The Atlas tells me to ascend to the stars. See, this is what I mean. Uh, I don't think... Jesus. No one knows what this Atlas wants, and therefore, I am really 
really interested. I want to know. I want to know what's so secrecy. What? Hello? Why are you me there? Hello? Can I analyze you? I cannot. Oh. Radnox? Oh, I need to go back to my ship. What the hell is Radnox? Protect me! Get me back to normal. Okay. What the hell is Radnox? Mysterious and valuable chemical resource, and it's very rare. Thank God I pointed my weapon at it and just shot it. I still don't know what it is, but... Wow, this is a really, really hazardous environment. I don't know why the monolith is still... Am I missing something on the monolith? Sorry, I'm just gonna... Can you just jump? Thank you. Am I missing something? No, not really. It's just on... Really? But there's more there! There's more Radnox. Oh my god. Uh, minus 138.1... I need to get the freaking hell out of here. This is just ridiculous. Okay, fine. Whew. Um, do I have enough on thrusters? Good, because I got stuck on planets without thruster energy, and that was, um... That was harsh. That was really harsh. But... The planet's beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. It is cold. I mean, ish, <laughs> I guess. But it's beautiful. I want to see what that is as well. So I have to get out of the planet to see what's going on and what Atlas wants. But that's another monolith. And there's a, a couple of words that I can learn from that. Okay, ready? Oh, hello! Are you good? Are you friendly? Uh, amenable? Can I give you... Ooh, I can feed you. Look at you. <laughs> the sound, I have to say again, yeah, the soundtrack of this game is beautiful. Jesus. Um, this is a bad idea why there's a storm. I can't even reach it. Jesus Christ, this is really harsh. Really harsh weather. Um, a bit chilly, I guess. Uh, but there's... I saw Radnox. I don't know if I'm actually gonna need Radnox, but it says very rare, and therefore I want it. And probably there's someone on the future gonna watch this video and go like, Oh no, why are you not taking more Radnox and whatnot? But I, at this stage in the game, I don't know what it's for. I'm happy that I'm learning a lot of words, honestly. But I have to be quick, because... Uh, exosuit, exosuit, thermal protection. Uh, God, that is bad. That is bad. I need to get out of here. This is a no no to come back to. And I am not landing my ship again until I get to a place with plutonium. So, this is what happened to me before. Here I was happily going around like. Whoa, okay. Here I was. Minding my own business, going like, well, you know, I kind of have to land here, and all of a sudden there was no plutonium around. That planet is harsh. What do you mean undiscovered? I've just been there. Huh. So the Atlas is actually telling me to go into another galaxy. Um, but I kind of want to uh, get more plutonium, which I haven't got. So I'll see if the space station has that, and I'll carry on my way. Hold on the other side. So 
as you probably, I don't know if you managed to see that, uh, Atlas was saying on the bottom right corner that my destiny lies in the beyond. So galactic map and follow my path, apparently. So there's going to be a lot of warp traveling from what I can gather. Uh, but I, the reason I'm coming to the spaceship is, the space station is the, if I don't want to land my ship and getting into a planet with minus 135 degrees, like just now, and going like, oh great, now I have to find out plutonium in this, well, chilly weather. So, no, I kind of want to play it a bit safer. Hello. Nice to meet you. Brigadier. Okay, fine. I've got a warp cell that I can transfer. Will that be okay now? Hello. Nice to meet you. You're a close ally. Interloper weapon. Viking replace. Okay. The warrior looks at me with fire in its eyes. This species is clearly aggressive and I doubt I'm welcome. Okay, should I leave? Yet the life form bows in greeting. Because we're allies. Tradition and honor perhaps dictated. I don't feel an imminent danger and I'm about to turn and leave when the creature points towards my multi-tool. It barks with concern and makes a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. Uh, uh, I'll, you're an ally, I'm gonna trust you, I'm gonna hand over my multi-tool. The warrior nods and he offers me an improvement. Oh look, it's Cubone on steroids. What the hell? Um, so what do I have? Uh, I have a bolt caster. This one hasn't got anything. But I can put it on. And there's just so much more room. Okay, there's a combat amplifier. I'm just going to take it. I mean, weapon-wise, this one doesn't shoot. But I can put up the bolt caster and that will be fine. So, sure. Your standing with the Viking has increased. Brilliant. Hi. Can I teach? Can you teach me another ward? That will be most kind of you, sir. Thank you. Stop calling me interloper and just saying random things. Um, uh, co-conspirator? I'm not. No, I'm just a close ally. He has no current desire to kill me. Well, great. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm good. Thank you. We'll leave it like that. Oh. Monkey place. Let's see. My multi tool is weird as hell, but I can craft bolt casters. I can actually fit in. Do I? Did I have a plasma launcher, which I think it is good. And therefore, I want to build a bolt caster. And um. Can I not put a plasma launcher? No. Oh, I need more plutonium. Okay. 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 So, last thing I... No one saw that. Ignore that. Right, last thing I want to do. Open up my galactic map. Free exploration mode. Anomaly detected. Atlas interface. But what about the red line? What? <laughs> um, hold on. I'm not getting anything. Oh, okay. So there's a path towards the galactic core. Which ultimately is what we want to do. There's free exploration mode and a path towards the waypoint, which is reaching the Atlas interface. Um, so I'm guessing because there's six tiny things over there, there might be other paths that I can follow. So, okay, this is what I mean. There's a more, lot more into the game that I'm not really following up. So, um, I'm gonna say. 
is that I want to follow the Atlas interface. Damn it, I can't upgrade the drive. Okay. I want to follow the Atlas interface because I haven't found an Atlas pass and I'm really, really hopeful that I can find that. So, this is just huge. I'm gonna have to find something and I have to follow something. So I'm gonna have to follow, I follow the Atlas interface first. And I'm looking at it like kind of a side quest. Kind of like, this is something that you can follow. Although the ultimate goal of the game apparently is getting to the galactic core. And that's giving me that path that I have to follow eventually and find something. It's making less and less sense as I say. The star of like this, I've got an achievement, okay. And I still don't feel comfortable to kind of mess up with those guys. Uh, they might give me a lot of materials if I probably kind of mess with them. But I'll leave it as it is. Okay. Uh, abandon. Ow! What the hell happened? Analyze and upload discoveries. Repair analysis visor. Analyze objects. What do you mean? Do I? Oh, I don't have an analysis visor. A rare technology. What do you mean by repair analysis visor and analyze objects and so on and so on? Have I not done that? I thought I had. It's, it's fine. What do you want? What do you want? Well, I like the idea of an abandoned building that all of a sudden just popped up. Oh, okay, hold on. What's up? I've been doing that. Well, half of it. Um, just a second. I'm going to upload all this. Literally all this. And um, I'll be back in a second. I've named this thing the multi pot cow, by the way. Just out of curiosity. Okay, we are good. I'm just going to land by the abandoned building. And we'll see what the hell's going on. Are you going to stop by the... Oh, he's actually aiming at the abandoned building. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna name you the Carrot Planet because that is way too orangey for me. <laughs> right, let's get to that building. Right, I might have just come up with another problem. I'm running out of plutonium. So I'm gonna land here. And I might have just landed. I, I can see plutonium from here. Over there. Hopefully, so I think I'm okay. I want to see how this thing works. Seems okay. Alright. My ship's a bit too far off. I don't know why I landed that far, but... Doesn't matter. That's a very, um... A posh thing... Over here. Like an observatory or something? Why my life support is so low already? What have I done wrong? Okay. Um, what kind of environment am I in then? Is this really harsh again? No? Maybe? Right. Actually, I'm going to finish up the episode here. Uh, next episode, I'm going to go straight in there and see what the hell is in that building. And I have lost my hut. So I don't know... What's the weather like? Very curious. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.